Murray, would you blow my curlers, please? Murray! Huh? Oh, did you hear it, Ruthie? That was Big Ben bonging me hello. I haven't heard that in almost 30 years. You want this thing on hot or medium? Medium, please, sweetheart. Hot fizzes my ends. 30 years, Ruthie. Gosh, that was a crazy time. Blackouts every night. Me? Just a hotshot flyboy who fit into his 42 regular like it was a coat of paint. Sorry. Precious. Blow. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Gosh, I must be getting old drifting like that. It's just those darn bongs. You know what I mean? They... Take me back. Crazy times, Ruthie. I had a bombardier once who was a real comedian. He kept pretending to fall through the Bombay doors. One day he did. Was he wearing a parachute? No. But the navigator said he saw him writing on his forehead, Get Hitler, as he dove right into Berlin. I think you're telling me one of those flying jokes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'll finish my hair, darling. Oh, look, I'm sorry. No more reminiscing. Where would you like to have dinner tonight? Oh. Listen, I remember there was a great fish and chips joint over on the back of Old Fleet Street. The whole wing used to go there, and we'd just sit around and... My gosh, I'm doing it again. Murray, you're loud. I mean, you've given me a wonderful life for 27 years and five wonderful children. They are good kids, aren't they? Even Herbie turned out nice. He was always shoving crayons up his nose. Look, Murray. I've got a beauty parlor appointment. Why don't you go out for a few hours and take a walk around and maybe uh, soak up some of the memories of the past? Soak up some of the memories of the past? You don't mind? Why should I mind? I really do feel like a soak. from here, eh? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a betting man. Uh, quit it is, jogging. Ten bob more, you don't make it on the second try neither. <laughs> Any takers? Ten more, me, do. See the rabbits. You're on your own jock now. Quiet, please. Please have a little respect. You've got an eye like an eagle. Oh, well done, Jocko. You are a bit of a lad after all. Darling, darling, wasn't that simply smashing? Darling, you missed Jock's lovely bull's nose. Oh, I'm sorry, Pam, dearest. I'm afraid I was, how do you British say, doing a bit of wool gathering. A uh, few British say that, my darling. There is a British expression, though, toughens for your thoughts. The war, my precious. I was thinking about the war. We have so little time. So little time. It's not time we have to fear, sweet yank upon my heartstrings, but fear itself. And of course, bad food. True, true, you lovable creature. Time only makes love grow stronger, you hotshot flyboy who fits into a 42 regular like it was a coat of paint. Yes, you're right. The only danger is that one day we might be separated, my darling doughboy. And I couldn't bear that, knowing that you were out there somewhere without me, and I was somewhere without you, and neither one of us able to reach out and say, hello, ducks, give us a winkle. Oh, Pam, Pam, Pam. Oh, Murray, 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 do kiss me quick before my stiff upper lip turns to treacle. Do kiss me now. Here, here, you two, none of that there. Now, no kissing here. Come on now. Want me to lose my license? 
Besides, the rest of us ain't got no sweethearts, Andy, so if you don't want to drive us wild with longing, the least you could do is give us a dance. Aye, dance for us and make us like you. They don't call you the dancing sweethearts for nothing, but my name's not Joko McTavish, eh? <laughs> hey, everybody, how about a dance from the dancing sweethearts? Yeah! Well, it's up to you, darling. I haven't really prepared anything. I await your pleasure, Yank. You know what I want to hear, Ralph? Play it again. The Piccadilly Polka. <laughs> right. Oh, everybody knows that a Führer is a rocker. But how many know that old Adolf has a daughter? She isn't very pretty. Her face is a fright. But I do my best for England by keeping her out. Do you mind? Oh, no, of course not. I'm sorry. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going in there, too. No, very well, old chap. After you. Still the same, huh? Oh, there are a few changes, but... No, no, it's... It's mostly the same. But, you know, I... I don't remember that stench, though. Oh, it's the smell from the cabbage factory next door, sir. Oh, they've been here for the past ten years. Uh, but they'll be moving soon. Uh, rumor has it they can't stand the smell from the pub kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said, only good one. <laughs> oh, I said, barman. Oh, will it be, mate? It can't be, Alf. Is that you, Alf? Have we met, Governor? Look at me, Alf. Take a good look. Wilbur Archer. <laughs> uh, you had a nose job after all. You know what I'd do? I'd sue that bloody dog for botching it up, I would. <laughs> no, no. Not Wilbur. Murray. Murray Keller. United States Army Air Force. Remember? Huh? Murray? Mur... Oh, Murray the Yank. Right. You owe me two pounds six since 1943. <laughs> Here it is, Al. Take that and as much as you need to make this place just like it was the last time I saw it. Well, I don't have enough money for that, Yang, but you keep it coming and I'll not stand in your way. All right, let's look lovely. Hey, jump, there's a big spender in the house. Come on. Will you buy a drink for an old war hero? Not me. <laughs> Would you buy a drink for an old war hero? Oh, oh, oh. Jock, did I, Jock, or was it really you? Are you my sister Daphne? No. <laughs> oh, I think we can dance. Oh, no, no. Jock, look again. Look, it's me, your old friend from overseas. Little Bobby Shaft, you. Always <laughs> follows with Chaco. That's the way I've remembered you all these years. Look. Look, Alf. Alf, would you clear the floor and make room for dancing? It's worth a fiver to me. There. Right, all right, let's, let's clear Chuck, this table out of here. Come, over here. come on now. There. This shit may be balmy. So let's make a while the sun shines, eh? <laughs> now, here, Jocko. Here, take the dart. I've got two pounds that says you can make a bull's nose. Now, who'll take that wager? I'll see you on that, sir, and I'll raise you. Quitty won't make it on the second go. Or the third or fourth either, for that matter. All right. Alf, come on. Sit down at the piano. Just like you did when the bombs were falling. And England had its finest hour. Whatever you say, Yank. <laughs> Super, just super. You know, this is almost exactly like it was when the world was my golden toy. There's only one thing missing. Alf, oh Alfie. 
Alfie! Pamela! Pam! Yes? It's me, Murray! Murray? From the war! The terrible big war! From the war? Oh, Murray! Murray! Oh, Murray! Murray from the infantry! No, no, Murray from the Air Force. With His Majesty's Royal Canadian fighter plane. Royal American bombers. Pam, you do remember. Mm. Hey, can I toss my dart now, Yank? Oh, sure. Sure, Jacko. Throw it. Make a bull's nose for Pam, if you please. <clears throat> oh, missed it by that much. Oh, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. As long as I found my Pam again. Hey, come on. Alf. You know what I want to hear, Alf? Play it again. Roll oh, no, 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 Alf. No, no, not that one. Just play the one that you used to play for me all the time. Time to play it again, Pam. Play it again, Alf. <laughs> when Charlie from France kicks Hitler in the park. No, not that one either. Now, don't joke with me about this, Pamela, my precious bird. Just tell him to play our song. Hit it, Alf. <laughs> Polska, da Polska, forever in Russia. No, Alf, I was not with the Polish forces. No? I wasn't. You don't remember me, do you? Oh, don't feel bad, love, because I don't remember you. It was a long war, and there were so many lonely boys. But I thought that we had something very special. We did, Marty. Murray. Murray. We all did. It's just that I wanted to do my part for the war effort. And when I saw so many boys away from home, like you, we did have something very special indeed. And we can have it again, love. There's no war on now, you know. Well, I, I, I'm just uh, visiting for a short time. We only had a short time during the war, and that didn't slow us down, now did it, eh? Uh, no, but my wife, what I mean is, uh, Ruthie's with me in London. I won't tell her if you won't. <laughs> now, what was that song again? Uh, the Piccadilly Polka. Oh, that's... yes, of course, Elf, the Piccadilly Polka. Now I remember you. Well, everybody knows that the Pilgrim is a rotter, but how many know that old Adolf has a daughter? Sing along, love. I'm sorry, Pam. I'm sorry. Oh. Do you want me to fetch him back, love? No, Alf. It's better this way. <laughs> Yesterday it was that chap from the Greek Navy. This morning the bloke that was with the Royal Australian Fusiliers and now my yank. <laughs> I'll be glad when the tourist season's over. <laughs> oh, well, I better get back to the bar. No, Alf. J just a minute. Play it again. You know the one I want to hear. Oh. Well, some can live on bully beef and fight like mad on beans. But all we need is a bit of rice. Cause we're Chinese Marines. Oh, Wing Po, where are you now? <laughs> Murray, dear. Did you have a good time? Sweetheart, is anything wrong? I, I just took a walk around London. That's nice, Murray. Now you'll have a good appetite for dinner. Where should we go? The oyster place in Soho sounds good. They serve salsa with the meal. Let's not go out for dinner tonight, Ruthie. Let's have it here, alone. Just the two of us, you and me. But this is our first night in London, and you're always telling me how you like the fog. Maybe we've had enough fog, Ruthie. Maybe we ought to stay in more often. Maybe I just want to think about here and now and forget about there and then. What happened on the walk? Did someone upset you? No, no, no. Let's just say that I ran into an old ghost that made me realize how lucky I am. Oh. <laughs> Marie. 
Big Ben is bonging again. Yes, but sweetheart, this time he's bonging for the two of us.